everybody, Beware the Six. Welcome to the channel. Today we have such an exciting video for you today. Go ahead and take some double tap, baby. You need it. All right. And hey, we got a guest coming on today. His name is Bailey Barry. He had gone to a gaming event and actually talked to the voice actor for Rick Toffin. Unbelievable, right? But guess what? We got him right here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Bailey. Tell me a little bit about What's yourself. What's up, guys? My name is Bailey Barry. You can, you can catch me on YouTube as Bailey Barry. I make a lot of content on retro video games as of recently zombies because zombies is a huge passion of mine but in the beginning of next year I'm opening a video game slash sneaker store no called Sneaks way. and Geeks so Woo. that's me and that's badass that's me. man holy I'm, shit <laughs> I'm a big member and lover of the zombies community so dude I, I can tell and I'm sure maybe some people in the community have seen this video he actually goes to um a gaming convention where Nolan North is talking and you are a soldier to go out there and get some answers for the community for all of us we love it uh, I saw what was it Tim Hansen commented on your video yeah. That's crazy. What was uh, Nolan North doing there at his panel? What games were he talking about? You know, why was he there in general, you think? So I guess, so it's crazy. Like this is, this Southeast Game Exchange is where I went and it's one of the nation's largest video game exchanges. So to promote the event, they hired these big voice actors like the voice of Chris Redfield from Resident Evil was there. Wow. So it was the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. And so they hired Nolan North. And Nolan North was, in my opinion, the biggest one there. Oh, I totally. Was stoked to talk to him. So, like, that picture that I got with him, like, you go up to this booth and his agent's sitting there <laughs> and is like, okay, what do you want? Do you want a picture? Do you want a video? Do you want something signed? So you had to pay to get that stuff, oh which is crazy. God. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks for that picture. It was like. But hey, worth it. Autograph. Worth it. I mean, not only do you have like potential thumbnail work, but you also got a picture with Rick Toffin himself. Like, what was that feeling? Dude, I can't even tell you. Cause not a dude. Like, like we were talking yeah. off camera, like I, zombies has been such a big part of my life. And yes, I started like early video games, like yeah. playing the PlayStation 2 and stuff. Mm -hmm. But where I became obsessed was when I, one of my friends introduced me to Call of Duty Zombies. The first Easter egg I ever did was the Shangri-La Easter egg. Oh, yeah. So it's like, and then hearing those characters talk to you the whole time just created such a love. So like you said, to see him there and the first game I ever bought on my PlayStation 3 was Uncharted and he voices he voices Nathan Drake yeah. from Uncharted. So I was like, what the heck? It, dude, I was just, I was so nervous just to take a picture. Oh, and God, then, then at two o'clock, it was a free showing. Anybody could walk in and he was in the panel room to where it was just a Q and A with him. Did anybody else ask about Black Ops 6 or, or like Call of Duty Zombies in general while, while you were there? Or? No. Wow. No, the, in that video that I posted on my channel, he, the, the one question that was asked before mine of the guy was like, what's your favorite part about voicing yeah. Rick Toffin? That was the only other zombies based question. Everyone else was like, what was it like voicing Deadpool or what yeah, was it like yeah. voicing Superman? I mean, considering yeah. that new Deadpool movie like came out, which I thought was pretty good. What did you think? Dude, I, I loved it. I loved <laughs> yeah. it was a great time. Pretty cool. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it must have been pretty nerve wracking to have to ask a question, which we know he probably has like NDAs, like he can't disclose it. Um, exactly. So, I mean, I mean, I would be like super freaking nervous to ask him about anything or else his agents would just yeah. pretty important topic. Um, so you had asked him and, and one point within your video that I had uh, really kind of just gotten it, you know, getting excited about was at the very end when he's like, you know, I can't really um, say much, but uh, there's going to be some trailers in the next few months that are going to blow your mind. What do you think those trailers are going to be? Like, I, I feel like they're definitely going to show Rick Toffin in the trailers they have to. Um, and the fact that he's like, stay tuned for that is like, yeah. that is 100% confirmation. Why would he yeah. plug another video game if you weren't in it? You know? I know, 100%. Yeah. And like, I don't know if you've seen like what's been going on with like Mr. Raffle Waffles yeah, here recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that weird stream that happened where yes. like his lights went off and like he had just found that he was going through yeah. all of this secret information and decoding from like zombies Easter eggs yeah. kind of yeah. that was in his email. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. Like it, it, maybe that's a precursor to these crazy trailers or hints that yes. are going to come off and it's going to build to something big. Oh, I, I agree, because, I mean, we've had confirma well, confirmation, we'll say, and we all know the truth yeah. lies this year, right? So, yes. and Kevin Drew being sneaky as hell in those Twitter comments. Yeah. I, I think it's real, and I think that 
Um, not only is this healthy for uh, the gaming industry as a whole, but I think it's very healthy for the relationship between developers and COD Zombies. Because if this is something that came from the developers themselves, that shows that they are willing to work with, I guess you can say Mr. Raffle Waffles has not, you know, he hasn't been invited to some COD events, which I yeah. freaking hate, but, but it's at the yeah. price of being honest about the game, which I think is very vital to the community. Um, yeah. But the fact that I think now we have all of them working together, I even saw, I think Noah J had a similar situation. So I think this, this uh, whole, uh, I guess we'll call it an advertising uh, deal is kind of spreading out to other YouTubers, which I think is pretty badass. Yeah. Um, but I do think that it is a precursor to uh, these trailers we're going to see. Um, what do you think Rick Toffin's role is going to be? I made a video, uh, what, a few days ago. You should go check it out. I think it's great. Um, here's an Ethereum crystal for that one. But um, I had made a video about how I think Blue Eyes may be returning, you know, considering Project Janus as a whole and like what he wants to do, probably, you know, be the head of zombies again. Um, and I think that with him returning, that could be the entire, you know, if they want him to return, it's got to be big and it's got to be to where he's the main character again. So what do you yeah. think his role is going to be in Black Ops 6? Dude, I don't know. There could be so many. He, where he is leading everything, I don't know what direction we're heading with the timeline and how like Modern Warfare 3 Easter yeah. egg like kind of in there. It's almost been ended with the way that Zombies was exactly. there. Exactly. I'm, and I, I don't want to be controversial. Yeah. And I don't know if this is controversial, <laughs> but dude, I, I can't stand Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Dude, okay, look, I didn't even buy the game. I played it on free weekends. And I, I, I'm not mad that they put Zombies in the game, but I just, I, I guess I don't have that big of a say because I haven't played it really, but yeah. um, but it, it's not round based and it doesn't have that flair, that zombies character and atmosphere we all know and love. Exactly. Um, do you think that they'll reveal Rick Toffin again at the end of uh, the Modern Warfare 3 story or like? I do, I, <laughs> I have no idea. I have oh no God. idea. I know we have that little, that little, that little showing of him walking out whenever Rick Toffin is revealed in that yes. little clip that's been posted over and over yes. again of when he finally turns around and you see his face and it's beautiful Eddie, yeah. you know what I mean? What do you think about the radios we heard in Malder Toten to where it's obviously his voice? And in fact, I had some commenters in my video about those radios um, confirm to me that the Spanish and French voice actors in their respected fields had returned to uh, voice that radio as well. So I think that yeah, oh yeah, so he's already been in, in Cold War, technically. Um, yeah. it, it, if you check, I have a video where I bring down the audio, because he has that like Black Ops 1 interrogation voice filter on him, and I pitched, yeah. it, uh, I pitched it up, actually, to where you can actually hear the inflection in Rick Toffin's voice, and it's definitely Nolan North. So, um, you know, when you're asking him those questions, you know, I could only imagine, you know, part of your mind is like, oh, I, I, I gotta get this part on film, this is gonna be insane for the community. Um, but I feel yeah. like part of it is also, uh, you know, you're getting, you are the first one to actually get that feeling of confirmation in the entire Dude. Zombies community. So how did that feel? And like, were you like, you know, leaving the event like, that's totally confirmed, man. Or like what? Dude, like I, I, I felt the pressure of like, man, I want to, I got, I have to get this information out to yes. the Zombies community, yes. but I want to do it right. I want to edit it right and like as a as a small content creator you know i was like waiting and like i had some other videos to edit prior yeah. and like just so the event was so recent i like wanted to get my event video out first uh -huh. but dude the magnitude that i felt i was like man this this is a this is a very important question yes. i like felt that in my hands and like the fact that nobody else there had asked that question and the response that the him and not only the people around yeah. me gave when I asked that, because yeah, he I was like, were like, oh my God. Yeah, because I asked that question, he literally just goes, who's next? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, so this is this is a hot button topic right oh, here. Oh, 100%. Oh my God, I can't even believe it. And, and what I love, especially too, about Nolan North is it seemed like within those answers, he was excited to come back and voice Rick Toffin. I mean, the fact mm -hmm. that he said Deadpool and Rick Toffin, which is a badass answer, is his most favorite yeah. two voice. Um, you know, similar, I think, to, I don't know if you're familiar with the GTA voice actors, at least two of them from the main crew are so unbelievably passionate about them as their character. So, like, for example, I think it was Trevor, the voice actor, was like, oh, like, I'm uh, Steve Hogg or whatever his name, oh, Steve Hogg, I think is his name. But he, he just likes being called that. He's like, I'm not that character. But then the Michael and Franklin voice actor are like, uh, if you see us on the street, call us Michael, call us Franklin. We love it. We're always playing GTA. 
we love will always be those characters and i think nolan north also is very passionate about the his uh his voice work and his acting mm-hmm. and uh i'm just glad that we have nolan north um Dude, as a part 100%. of this year and, and there's so much you know and and especially watching your video I can tell there's a lot of us in the community that, you know, right now, of course, SBMM is a thing or, uh, you know, mm-hmm. AI in the games, which is its own, you know, separate topic or or what have you, or all these skins. I think zombies, it, it is counterculture to that as well. I don't have to mm-hmm. worry about that stuff. I'm having fun just talking to you and thinking about Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, freaking Black Ops 6 zombies, you know. I'm just having a great time just reminiscing and enjoying the artistic development whether it be music round start themes or the atmosphere when it comes to zombies and i think that this year than ever zombies youtubers are just gonna have to push through man i I think we're really gonna have to just make this year special not only for the community but for us dude i I seriously couldn't agree more it is it's seriously something special and like in i don't know if you saw like that interview that they had like last week or the yeah. week before that yeah. showed up on youtube where they were answering some questions oh, the, about the future uh, the zombies cod pod right it was a cod podcast yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. and a bunch of zombies youtubers were like going uh-huh. over the video yeah, and all yeah, of yeah. that stuff and like they were saying like they i can't remember what map it was but they were like oh just make the eyes this color and they, they weren't even thinking about did you yeah. do you know what oh, i'm talking yes. about and i like, actually they, showed that clip in one of my videos and that's why I think Blue Eyes are, are returning because why would Kevin Drew talk about the eye color? Like, for, forget yeah. forget the story of what he's talking about. We know these zombies developers are meticulous when it comes to placing ideas in our heads. And the fact that they talked about eye color, I think it's going to change again. I think it's going to change. Yeah. yeah, dude. I I don't know. I, and I don't know how, how you feel. Yeah. But, like, what what is your ideal that you need in zombies like to me like of course yeah. round based for me yeah I, i'm a fan of gobble gums granted it yes. wasn't in the ogs but yeah. I, I like how they did it in black ops 100%, 3 i agree but do you do you like like the on screen like okay plus 100 points for a zombie kill kind of like how it does in like borderlands yeah. or destiny i am against the in game uh menus we'll say so like when you go to the okay. armor, armor machine for example i would so much rather if you just go up to it you hold X like it would a normal perk machine, and then you see your armor fill up in the bottom. You know, so yeah. you don't have to go through a, sc- uh, a screen. I talked about weapon rarities and how I don't believe the gun should be glowing a certain blue color. It should maybe have a piece of tape around it that's blue, like on the on the yeah. on the stock or something, to like give it that zombie's feel, but also you know offer us those new features that we've come to like. Uh, the floating damage numbers, I think that they're kind of fun for the community who wants to test out, you know, the damage of these uh, weapons and you can see the health bar decline. But I think that they should be turned off, um, mm. I guess we'll say on launch or whenever you open the game. I think that's something that, you know, reverse to Cold War, you have to turn on. I think that would be a yeah. lot better to just keep the atmosphere intact. Um, and then, you know, for the players that did like it from Cold War, maybe they can do it as well. Because I don't think, you know, it'd be super hard, especially if they're on the same engine, so yeah no dude i couldn't agree more and yeah. like what you said about the armor system like when you go to pack a punch yeah. a gun yeah and you have oh. to go th- scroll through a menu it's like no i want to put my gun in. i want to crack my knuckles and wait for that exactly. thing to come back out and i got a cool gun and i think instead of you know when it comes to ammo mods have them work like black ops 3 i like the tiers to pack i like that you can like uh mm-hmm. pack them more but i don't need to see the menu to know i'm gonna pack it a second time and then yeah. it's like give me a random uh ammo mod so then mm-hmm. I have more incentive to actually go and once I have it, try and level it up. Use my Ethereum yeah. crystals and unlock that baby. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I don't know, man. I think, uh, you know, the community has a lot of ideas and, and Kevin Drew even said like, hey, this year we're bringing back everything that people loved about the last games and putting it into one. He said he thinks it's going to be the best zombies experience yet, especially round based. Um, yeah. Were you a fan of Outbreak by any chance? I haven't played much Outbreak. Really? Yeah. See, whenever, I, whenever. It, yeah. If, what what map pack is that? Is that three? Um, it's just it's just an update on on uh on Cold War, and it is I I, I want to say yeah, it's the third kind of bigger update for zombies. Um, okay. I thought the atmosphere. Obviously, they were using like fire team maps, so it wasn't like mm-hmm. super liked. But I think you know, given time, I think this year and next year totally focus on round base. But I I wouldn't mind if Outbreak came back with that zombies aesthetic and feel. Yeah. I recommend giving it a shot. If you if you got like what five six hours to kill because that's how long it takes, then uh, wow. then it's fun. Yeah. No way. Yeah, dude. When it came to Cold War, like 
the machine i i was i was obsessed just because we got zombies back and i yeah. did the easter egg what like whenever like noah j and all the people he were playing with first discovered the easter egg like watching yes. that live stream whenever oh they figured God. it out i remember attempting the easter egg every day for the next week until i finally got it done oh. and but then the second map came out and i i can't i don't even remember the name of it but i was like man I don't know how I feel yeah. about this. And since then, I've gone back to Black Ops 3 and have played Black Ops 3 Zombies since it's then. It's so good, man. It's so good. I don't think, I mean, aesthetically, I don't think it ever got better um, mm -hmm. since. Uh, I think the general ideas of, of, of Zombie Maps after that were pretty cool. But, I mean, we're talking about graphic fidelity. I don't know if that's the right word. But, um, you know, we're talking about returning features and gobble gums. You know, mm -hmm. we think, what came with gobble gums? Who's deal was that it was dr monty's if we're already having yeah. a talking return you know especially in the first two maps it's like pretty much you know confirmed he's gonna have to part and play in the story um yeah. you know who could be that big boss again or or what universe could he be going to with project janus to kind of bring something back i think i think dr monty would be a huge deal dude that's a very good point that i have not thought about nearly enough especially with gobble gums already returning yeah like in Black Ops 4, it was the elixirs or whatever and they called that it. Was, it. I did not like that. I wasn't a fan yeah. of it either. So, but dude, I have not thought about that. And that is a great point. I'm very eager to see how, what that will fall under. If yeah. it is going to be Dr. Monty's or what, how, yeah. how are you going to, are we going to have bo bubble gum machines again or gobble gum machines right. again? Are they going to look different? You know? Are they going to be, you know, if, if Project Janus is meant to like bridge the universes, who knows if it could be the exact same machine or a different yeah. version of Dr. Monty. Maybe they get another voice actor like they did Woods, make him younger like they did in Origins and then have like a, a different deal. Like we could, they could do anything. And I think that yeah. uh, when it comes to location and when it comes to just development behind this game, considering we've had four years, I think it's really gonna be cool. That's very true. That's very, yeah. golly, has it been that long? I know, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, four That's years crazy. of development, Black Ops 3 only had three years. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, same thing with Black, same thing with Black Ops Two, right? Maybe only two years. Yeah, from yeah, Black I Ops believe so. It was two years for Black Ops Two. Yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. Because they had what it was from. Um, I want to say Modern Warfare Three, and then Black Ops Two. It went. Yeah. yeah it went. Uh, do you do you know? It went. Yeah, I know. It it went. Modern Warfare Two. two. Wait, no, Black Ops One. Yeah. Modern, Modern Warfare. No, no, no. Yeah, Black Ops One. Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare Three. Three. And then, then Black Ops Two, and then Ghost, which Ghost is so underrated. What do you think? Yeah, and then Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, no, dude. I have I have a friend who will die on the hill that Ghost is the best Call of Duty ever. Oh, dude, same, bro. Same. Yeah. I sh I don't know. That's definitely not my take on it. Great. Like, to me, Black Ops Two is my goat. That's my oh, favorite 100%. Call of Duty ever. I'd say over time. Black Ops 3 for zombies, but for campaign, World at War. Are you kidding me? World at War, So dude. cool. That's insane. That's Ooh, insane. Started playing that one Arguably the hardest campaign to beat in veteran. It is brutal, dude. 100%, 100%. Dude, that's great. Well, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sure that oh, I saw your AirPod. Dude, I caught that thing. <laughs> fell right out of my ear. That's why I've been touching it the whole time. I feel oh like it keeps God. sliding out. Well, hopefully Can we you got that me? luck with Black Ops 6. That's all I'm saying. So. Yeah. My God, bro. I am so over the moon that you got to to interview Nolan North. So. Dude, dude. Jesus. Me too. And and thank you for this opportunity. Like, dude, I, I really course, appreciate 100%. that. 100%. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And you and you have my phone number. Yes, so, like, 100%. whenever Black Ops 6 comes out, if you want to run some Easter oh, eggs, dude, dude we can live let's stream do something. It. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Woo! Absolutely. 100%, absolutely. Man, that'd be great. Fantastic. Cool. All right, bro. Okay. So, anyway, guys, if you love this video, here's an Ethereum crystal. My God, let's get hyped about this year, man. We're a community. We got to be talking about this shit. Come on. Anyway, thank you for watching. I got some plenty great videos coming out this week. You're not going to want to miss. So, ding that bell. Come on, let me know your hopes and dreams for Black Ops 6, especially for Toppin's confirmed, no confirmed, return to zombies. Thank you guys very much.